that pink. Uh, very nice looking ball right now for Dennis Okulo. It does look like he's lining up a rail first draw across. And just hit it a little thick and, and Orcolio is on his way. And you couldn't consider that too much of a mistake, but it's a shot he liked, you know, so when you like a shot and like I said yesterday, he made a big shot at a crucial time on a similar shot, so maybe reflecting on that a little bit. I've seen it in big matches outside the tournament and then also in the tournament well here. That pace of play is important. The older man making the better start. 42-year-old Dennis Acolio leads 25-year-old Aloysius Yap by one right to nil. Dennis well-versed with the bridge. Rather small fella, shades of Parika. Oh, beauty here. Well, I'll tell you, in my mind, a difficult bridge shot will show you as much comfort in a player as anything. Just with some right kill English. I really like that. And I think oh, that's that a smart shot. Lovely there. Yeah. I mean, you're playing great, right? Just decide to work a little bit harder on this seven ball is all. And that's the Filipino mentality. They can play extravagant shots with the best of them, but when they need to keep it simple, that's what they do. Indeed, Phil. <laughs> D.O. looking for the KO in this semi-final. And right now, he is playing some superb pool. If you play phenomenal pool for long enough, the, the gods will shine upon you one time or the other right now. Everything clicking for Dennis. Man, you know he's got to be in a good place mentally. Two to the three is delicate. And he's got a pretty broad area to draw to here. Oh, he followed oh the ball. That's surprising. Uh, open shot now. Great shooting by Dennis. Now, Yap, who's pretty much led every match he's played this week, you know, for the most part, at least the big matches late. Let's see what he can do trailing 3 0. Great point. Yeah, getting comfortable with all his heroes and peers uh, and as he knocks them down and puts exactly. them on the one loss side. He has an ideal angle, although testy. Harped on it all week. These are incredibly tough conditions, tight pockets. Oh and my. Your comment, Nick, was prescient. Wow. The one ball goes astray for Ocolio. We did not expect the eight to go astray for Yap. And in my mind, it's just a miss, but it could look like a lot more at 3-0 in the semifinal. Yep, I think Yap chalks it up as just a miss. Well, Dennis is smiling, but naturally he's overcooked the mark greatly here. Very affable chap. Everybody loves Dennis. <laughs> well, I think that's settling his nerves a bit as well. <laughs> a little short comment. Well, that time clock's running down. Extension, please. Yeah. Said extension with six seconds to go. After what occurred yesterday, <laughs> I was getting a little concerned. Tell you with the uh, extra weight here with the extension, probably uses zero side spin. You can see how well versed he is with, with the time clock formats, too. He's not rushing his business here. Now, we'll talk about a huge turn of events after a miss from Yap. Oh, my. Well. So game number four, write that one down. We'll see where that, this one leads. Oh, 
Dennis is going to get to make up that mistake or two in the last rack with an open shot on the one after a drag break from Yap. And Yap may have to change over to the side Dennis is breaking from, maybe, or consider it. Players. Golfers in match play situations say the toughest match to win is the semi final. Well, that was a surprising shot to go for, in my opinion. Cut it, had to cut it back quite a bit. There was a pretty couple safeties that were definitely there. And after coming off a miss, maybe trying to respond off that miss. Good so. point, too. Pool players are utterly alone out there. Nobody to talk to but themselves. I think it's the bank shot. Maybe slides behind the three with the cue ball. Uh, he went for it. He's going to need some help. He's not going to get it. And Dennis is going to love this shot after a couple mistakes. He wants it bad. He's probably prepared as well as he has in a long time for this type of tournament. Yes. Yeah, that was a big rack for Dennis Ocolio to get back on track. Such but, a tough shot, but you're probably right. Yeah, there's not much. And he has one second to execute, that's and that's shot. exactly what he did, Jeremy. Yeah. And he hit it beautifully well if that doesn't scratch in the corner. That's a great shot. Yeah. For me, the best shot of the match so far. So difficult to hit that shot thin enough. Dennis will want to run this ball. That's why he hit it kind of calm like that. Watch out, side pocket. Foul stroke. So he yaps. got the ultimate reward for that beautiful safety. Yeah, that he did. He certainly earned this ball in hand. And, and Dennis's attempt was, was quite sound. Note that he tried to snooker him behind the 8-5 in some capacity and did hit the side of the one that he wanted. But alas, he found the middle side pocket. And from Yap, I mean, I think most of us would have gone into those balls. But note that Yap has decided to... Put his man in jail and see what happens. Interesting strategical decision there, Jeremy. Well, you can't get games back in this tournament format. And that's what I was talking about earlier. You have to have the mindset, and you can't be afraid to play the safety. You can't let the moment make you go a little too aggressive. You've seen it, I'm sure, in poker before. Well, of course. And, Phil, I, I know you appreciate a good safety as much as anyone from here side of the pond extension call yeah and i think the the mental process not being forced into trying to to take the attacking route and he knew that the safety was going to be more than likely profitable and there you go the decision has been well and truly vindicated the filipinos are magical kickers but that would have needed something else yeah, very hampered by the stretch there, and so very hard to be accurate that way. And I think Yap did everything he could to try and, you know, get that angle to open those balls, but then a very mature decision in a big moment, trying to cut this lead. Yeah, not only is the physical there, but the mental is there as well in, in the semifinals of the U.S. Open. Absolutely, still does have to run into the nine, I believe. Uh, things can happen. I don't, Maybe. Think he's a, I don't think he has to. No, these guys that left English and when they're close, mm. they can really pinch the cue mm. ball, right? So that they can. Beautifully navigated rack here from Yap. Looks like he's about to tie this thing up at 5-5. Five, five. This pattern play's just been really kind of second to none all week. That I can recall, anyways. And technically, the fundamentals are very good, aren't they? Beautiful stance on Yap, Phil. It's true. Powerful kind of. Looks like if you, if you went up to him and shoved him, he wouldn't fall over.
Yes, and one of the benefits of youth is that nerves can be more easily kept at bay. I could be mistaken, but you know, he doesn't play that well, never shoots a hard shot, that old joke. Right. Just alluding to the beautiful position play. Gets real close to his work, he gets the proper angles. He just oh. navigates so nicely, doesn't want to fall straight here. Put a lot into that, though. He didn't want to get thin because I'm afraid the six may not pass the eight. So he wanted to make sure he was somewhat heavy on the purple. That way he could stay underneath the six. Just screws this cue ball back in a foot to a foot and a half here. And a little light of the mark there. Yeah, awkward in the side and a little awkward in the corner. As I said, he's getting more comfortable, but he's still dealing with a few nerves. And it's still a close match, even though it feels like Yap is dominating just because we've seen him at the table for 10 some odd minutes. Only 6-5, about to be 7-5, the overwhelming majority of the time. It's nice to stay off that rail with the cue ball when shooting the money ball, I'll tell you. This right here is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. Has fallen a bit straight, so he might have to accept a little bit of a tester. He's looking to see if he can manipulate the pocket and hit it into a, a respective side, so known as cheating the pocket, to perhaps get an easier shot on the nine. Punches it down slightly and yeah, I like that though. Don't do too much. You're playing great. Just work a little harder on the nine. Don't let anything crazy happen on that eight ball. Well, seventh heaven for Yap to void it. Push out. The roll out, and he has declared a roll out, which speaks exactly to what Jeremy is saying. He's giving us an idea of where. Wow, he's rolling out to a jump that I'm not so sure either player can really reach that great. Maybe he's still leaving a little sliver of the two. I don't know. Yeah, Dennis didn't even get out of his chair. So. Oh, he's going with the bridge and the jump. So it's something we're not going to see very often. No, come on, Jeremy. I swear. Well, I knew no, he. No. I, I knew he couldn't reach it, and he's so, jumping with the bridge. Yeah. Well, he's using the bridge to to make the angle with the cue, and now the jump shot with the three hanging. Keep oh. an eye on this. Is all I can tell you. Well, forgive the the naivete, but I, I've never seen this before. I got a lot on it. <laughs> a respectful round of applause from the crowd for the creativity and the stuff we've witnessed over the last 20 some odd minutes. And a little round of applause for Dennis as well, who's shaking his head. <laughs> yeah. Got to hit it at light speed. Don't, don't want to bobble this ball. Very hard to miss if you. Oh, man. What a nice, aggressive oh, stroke. What a player this kid is. Has all the shots, Jeremy, offensive, defensive, and everything in between. Beautifully struck here. Look how crisply he hit this. Yeah. He's feeling good. And Came a little you, funny, though. You got to say, if he gets out, he deserves it. You would say he played a little better than Dennis. Wow, young man from Singapore, Phil. I've been so impressed, but there's just one little bit of unfinished business. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo indeed, well said, Nick. What a performance on the boardwalk here in Atlantic City. There's no obvious shot on. Is he trying to... No, he's not trying to get through that gap. Wake up, Cal, come on. Ken Carlo has to fade the beep, and he just squeezes it in there, but it looks like the one doesn't cooperate nestling on the six, so perhaps he'll be perhaps he'll be freezing 
Naoki behind that green six ball. Wants to get this cue ball touching the six. That's not bad. The beauty is when you get the cue ball touching the green six there is it cuts more options away. So I think he's going to have to go two rails. He'll have something of a go at this, I suppose. One, two around. Try to perhaps make the one. Maybe he can kick underneath the, seat, the six and tickle it back. Looks like he can't. Foul stroke. Illegal contact ball in hit. Wasn't an easy kick shot. It's one of them where you, you wish you could have two it's goals at it place. just to see how the rails react. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, you don't get two goals. And now this is, this is a genuine chance for the first rack. This is usually a very difficult situation. The latter stages of my career in just the way I sort of... Wow, am I seeing this right? He is. It's not a bad option, to be fair. If he gets in behind this, but well, it's gone wrong. Is the nine ball going to be his friend? Is the nine ball going to be his friend? Well, it looks like it is. He plays to the crowd a bit. I'm not certain he got him. Fascinating choice, though. Note, he could see the seven straight away. He was attempting to go one, two rails behind the seven to kick it up table. So it just shows how deep the well is of shots in his arsenal. Yeah, and Carlo's had a look at this pot, so he can clearly see the potting angle. So at first glance, we thought Nuyukio had got away with it, but he didn't get away with it. And this cue ball is going to be good. He needs to miss the eight, and he's on it. A great shot there from Beato. Creativity from Naoki was not rewarded. Looks like an early 2-0 lead for the Filipino killer. Second right, Carlo Beato. At the moment. Went with a little bit of a cut break. Kind of cuts it again. Wing ball cooperates, as does the one. Yeah, a little more speed into that one and a break he started with last time I think we saw him on this table where he suffered a loss, but he didn't really change. It wasn't working that well and was kind of stubborn to change. And I think, you know, I can't say it totally cost him the match, but definitely cost him some shots after the break. Are we jumping here, Jeremy? It looks like it. And again... Position is dicey, though, right? I mean, usually when you're taking on this jump, you're figuring position is almost automatic. He's got to fall between the 7 and 9, maybe. Maybe he comes out between the 7 and 4. Of course, first things first, got to bury this one. Wasn't a million miles away, and now Naoki Oi, who trails 4 acts to 0. This is his first kind of easy chance fair enough he played a poor positional shot in rack two but this is a must win rack now he's got to make something happen Lucius Yap no one can argue with his performance to get himself to his first US Open Championship final where's the five gonna end oh, up oh we got action on the side as well yeah, or uh, has it yeah. fallen in no man's land gentlemen very much so, and, and the safety is so difficult as well. Now, we if, he, if he can pocket the five and just go into the point avoiding the scratch, he'll do so and yeah. take on the, the brown seven. But we see how close that came to the nine ball. There's no way he tries to get him on the point via a safety shot, right? No, I think he can play oh, this. He, he might have it. Naoki. Yeah. That's a nice shot to settle yourself. Yeah, he hit that very pure, didn't he? And like most, he gets stronger as he can put a few racks together. I think he's got to turn it loose a little bit here. I wouldn't want to float this. Yeah, I think that's... I know he's kind of gambling a little bit there, getting around there, but I think that's the best way to play it. Yeah, that was a tidy shot, and just these two balls remain, and Naukio has got his semi-final match campaign underway. That he does, Carl. Beautifully navigated seven ball, like you said, Jeremy. Came around. The Oi is on the board. Crowd lets him hear it. Looks like he's taking this one on cross side. 
Wow. And, well, oh, rather be lucky fun. than good, as they say. Naoki Oi. That's Sometimes right. An apology to Biata. An ounce of luck is worth a pound of skill. And a little bit of, I thought he he made a poor decision trying to move the cue ball there. I thought he could just draw it back a little, pinch it. Looked like the bank laid just dead natural to me, Carl. Final, it's all about nerves. Ooh, caught a little knuckle coming in there. Yeah, I think um, years of playing pool, you know, in, in the clubs and a lot of the tournaments where the pockets have been overly generous, he would have probably just got down and smashed that ball in, but four and a quarter inch pocket makes you think a little bit more. And I'll tell you, us pool players were always just looking for the tournaments to improve from year to year, and I'll tell you, Matrim's done a great job with that. Certainly the nicest venue I've ever seen. I mean, it is just pristine Not here from the yes, rafters right. to the lights. Thank you, it's the seventh rank. Now Yokioi is trailing by four X to two and will break. Things are tightening up here on the boardwalk. Semi-final US Open action. It's four nothing Beato, what felt like a few minutes ago. Now it's four two. Yoki set to break. Yeah, it was all going Beato's way. Yuki was having a bit of a mare. Got a little fortunate in the last rack and there's just a there's a different vibe in the arena now. He's created a little something. The crowd are clearly on Oi's side. And he Dynamite has a shot break here. Sorry, Nick. Uh, just was alluding to how good that break was there, Carl. He's a bit funny, but that's a troubling sign for Beato. Any other path getting on the two is kind of gambling. I mean, do you just draw and hit the six and try and maybe bleed the cue ball towards the two and get something going? I mean, well, he's jacking down on this, so he's, he's up to some. Oh, he's back up. Would you consider the safety called. here? I think he can top this ball through, you know, because... He can? Oh, yeah, yeah, looking at the angle now. It's a tough shot, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm right behind it, but he's jacking down, but he can definitely go forward. So he's trying to come between the six and the five with the cue ball, I believe. Off. That's the only thing I saw he could do is try and carry him off the top of the six and bring the cue ball towards the two. Everything He had everything besides pocketing the ball. Carlo Biardo takes a look up to the ceiling with a wry smile on his face because he knows he's in a spot of bother here. Yeah, the two rail kick or the one rail kick isn't too bad though. Quickly he's going for the jump cue and man, I'm not in love with the jump here. Extension of course calls. I'm not the jumper these guys are today, but Well he doesn't only have to contend with the black, but the purple yeah. to a certain degree looks like it impedes the natural route. He's lining it up though. Maybe banking this around instead of going for the make. I don't think that's a bad shot. Foul shot. Yeah, I didn't like anything about that jump from the beginning, Ball it seemed end. like. Yeah, you just you just didn't like that from the start, did you, JJ? And it's proved very costly for Biardo. Cue ball flies off the table, balling <coughs> on for Oi. Yeah, don't baby it. Oh, good call, Carl. Oh, my. Is this going to freeze? Oh, look at this. Yeah, I mean, Beato, at the end of the day, he can feel a little bit disgusted in this, but you'd certainly rather be back at the table, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. Yeah, absolutely. And and it's, like I said, he can't let these little things, it's just mid-match. You know, you're seeing a lot more frustration from Carlo, and he's been through this plenty of times than you would normally see. Okay, he's got it. Cue ball froze on the rail. That's, oh wow, he played it very mild. I don't know about that. He may kick this in. Oh, he's racing to the table. Yeah, he may kick this in. He, he looks like he's going for it. He has not eyed another shot since jumping out of his seat. It's a little bit far off the rail though. Yeah, but if he's, again, don't baby it. You have a good chance here. Top English, couple ways to make it. And oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. This is drama unfolding. Diado, he must feel 
Well, he must feel a little out of sorts over there. Yeah, unfortunate for Carlo, but did you think it was maybe a suspect play there on the nine by Carlo? Yeah, I mean, I'd, have, I'd have gone the old free railer in the side pocket. <laughs> to draw up the rail from this distance. Oh, yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, this is why you've got to stay patient because you just never know when you're going to come back to the table. And Beardo is back at the table, so this is this is a big moment, though. Indeed it is. Perhaps none bigger for Car Carlo in this 2021 U.S. Open. He absolutely has to clear these. Yeah, JJ called it there. The lack of pace on his previous shot to get on the green six is where his downfall started. Beardo. Yeah. Yeah, just a little let up on that five ball from Oi and cost him at least probably two feet on the cue ball. And I think what looks to be game number 11. Ooh, oh side boy. pocket, side Watch pocket. Out. Oh, Carlo oh, Biado. Yeah, he overcut the six a little bit and. You know, I don't want to lean on on Start the clock, those previous little frustrations he ex he he showed in, in what was maybe a couple different games, right? I mean, and then has to come with a shot, and maybe the concentration not there, Nick. Uh, you know, maybe just pull. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's a combination of everything, and and one can only wonder what the mental kind of fortitude it takes to deal with Oi surging right now. He rallies the crowd. It can do funny things to a man out there. And right now, it's about to be 7-4. Oi set to break. What a swing that was. Okay, wins the right. I mean, that's, he plays pretty good position, but really doesn't let that little out of line bother him a lot. He knows you have to keep knocking him in playing professional pool. Mm, yeah. That's a great point. Just pay attention to the nine ball. His cue's going to be going over it, so that always feels a little awkward. Still a bit elevated. You can see that hand in the air, and he has fallen on the 50-yard line, gentlemen. Yeah, we've seen this nine ball shot three or four times today in these two semifinals. You wouldn't want to bet against him, though. Deliberate on the nine as he often is. Some players tend to rush these, try to get him over with. Not you know, Yuki Oi takes his time. Center cup, eight to four lead, and Oi is surging right now. Yeah, can Biado pop this two ball and make something happen? Can he swing this match back in his favor? Well, he likes taking on the tough shot, and it looks like he's sizing it up. So, And I bet this one isn't rolled like the last one, Carl. Normally, when he takes on the tough shot, he's shooting it in with some authority. Oh, my. What a shot from Carlo Beato to get back in this match. That was sensational. It really was. Still needs another good shot. That was his shot of the match. Can he get something going? Okay. Very nicely navigated. Simple little nine ball here to cut it to eight to five. Yeah, let's see what the crowd's reaction is. Carlo Viado wins the right. Oh, they're letting him hear it, and Carlo's pumping him up. Things are heating up here on the boardwalk. Semi-final action. Stay close. Now he could kick at it and draw the cue ball back behind the purple. That's what he's trying. Well, okay, he may get the position back here. No. He's done all right. This is what you can see. Matches can change. The good rolls can change. He's got the jump cue. And that's why earlier when a jump was taken out instead of the kick shot on the one, a lot of times when you're playing the one ball, you have seven or eight balls on the table. And Extension kick, call. kick shots come away clean a lot. 
early in the rack, right? Yeah, Carlos just sat in his chair there, kind of praying. He gets a good leave. Oh, he's going for the point in the corner, though. Watch cue out, cue ball. ball. Yeah. Look at this. Ball shots, ball in hand. Look at this. Yeah, he can, but if he tries to cut it in, you know that scratch across the corner is looming. He goes real first here. I might have to kick under this. I don't know. Oh, he's swerving the cue ball. That's well, as you said, Jeremy oh, looming, wow. but avoided. Great shot from Nao Yuki Oi. He'll have to show us something else. Yeah, look how quick he pulled the trigger on this once he got over it. A bit of uncertainty, but he knew he had to gamble. Kick, kick this with a little top English here. Bring the cue ball back behind the six. Oh, oh he, he played it cross oh. side and he made it. What a shot for Moy. The crowd are loving the Ukiyoi. Kicks two balls in to stay at the table. The wow. overcut looks like it lays nicely to, to gonna, cut it high. He's, well, he's going to try and bury change. this. And I'm, I'm again surprised, like you said, that Oi didn't take this on. Yeah, especially when Biado's won the last four racks as well. He's going to be feeling good about this shot. Well, not only that, always got to know he usually makes this if he's shooting. Ball wow. Shot. Ball in hand. Oy, well, he oh. did make it. Oi knew what he was doing. Yeah, that was smart play from Oi. <laughs> Start the clock, please. Yeah, frankly, a crafty return. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. It, one could easily be terrified of giving a shot like that back to the great Carlo Beato, but here he is finding himself with ball in hand. You know, like attacking the table, but we'll see what Oi gets up to. Yeah, well, he can't easily cross the one over and play safe with the three hanging either because then you give up a jump shot maybe on a 1-3 combo. I think he's going for the cross side. Ooh. Foul stroke. Oh, lost the cue ball. Ball in hand. And Jeremy, as as you were saying before, I, I couldn't Start agree. Clock, I couldn't agree more. This is a proper battle down here on the boardwalk. You you can feel it. That's the good thing with uh, with with Thanks. pool in snooker and uh, English eight ball, where what we play in England, the kick can really affect, and you can miss the pot. But often when you get a, a kick or a skid in nine ball, it still sort of goes in the pocket. Yeah, it just kind of depends. Now that one, usually when they kick at the heavier speed, lighter speed now, it's a different story. But if it's a heavy, you know, when the cue ball has some speed on it, normally it doesn't affect the shot. First lead in a while. Sigh of relief there for Beato when that eight ball went in. The hill with the finals looming. Yeah, I just can't really see it from the camera angle, if I'm being truthful. It looks like to me he can get enough of the left side of the one to play it by the six mildly and just roll the cue ball. Look at this little witty shot. Oh and it goes in and oh no, he's stuck to the pink. Oh, oh my goodness, he didn't deserve that. Just a Whoa. dreadful roll there, my. Man, Carlo who. Beautiful angle here. Has, oh my goodness. And uh, Carlos felt he's had the worst of it on the rolls. Well, no time better to get one now, yeah, right? We, we, we did speak about how you've got to be patient mm -hmm. in pool. Look at how this cue ball just nestles up on the pink plate. Such a gorgeous safety. Was trying to put it right there. But, uh, wow, what a sweet. Oh, I thought he made it. I didn't think he hit it perfect, but I thought it was going to fall. Yeah, that two ball is jammed right in the pocket. This this Oof. is awkward. Oh, yeah, and that's a perfect example of that extra quarter inch of tightness we have in the pockets this week. Yeah, it was... It, it was a little fat, so it shouldn't have gone in. It didn't go in. If he gets on this three ball, I believe he Watch won. out. Behind the pink here. Behind the pink. Watch out. Oh, it's my gotta go. word. This is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man. 
You could play that shot ten times in the other there. Well, he's lighting it up, but he needs to focus on this one. Uh, yeah. That is just incredible. Well, you know, we talked about it all week. The deep pockets, right? The deep slate really makes a, a ball down, barely please. hanging. Very unpredictable coming out with the cue ball. Now he has got a chance of pocketing this in one of the sides if he hits it full. Yeah, but watch him cover up the three with the... Oh, he hit it hard. I thought he would hit it much lighter. He's going to use the pink again. Oh, shot here. What a match this has been. Oh, well, that's why the real smart people have come to realize it's not really... The beauty in the game isn't always the break and run, is it? Yeah, true words never spoken. What do you like here, Jeremy? Carl? You just got to kick two at it, trying to let the cue ball come back up. Maybe you cut it in. Ooh, like that. Watch out, cue ball. Sayonara. It was a great shot, too. Smart shot instead of coming across using more of the draw. Well, it all resides on this, gentlemen. Well, if this nine ball disappears, you just listen to the reaction from the crowd. It's about to go off. This nine ball to play Yap in the final. Yeah. And it's in. Yeah. What a match that was. Yeah. And hats off to Nike Bioi for another great event. Two semifinals in a row. Carlo Biotto, though. Former world champion. He's going to try to add a U.S. Open title. The ever-classy Naoki Oi signing shirts, mingling with the fans. Of course, bravo. What a showing for Oi, Carl. Yeah, it was a shame there had to be a loser. It was the, it was the match that had everything.